Hey, what's up guys? Ali here from MySocialU.com and welcome back to my channel. In this video today, we're going to talk about how can you build your email list using Facebook ads. And I'm going to show you the actual campaign that's running live and active. Before we jump into it, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon and also like this video. All right, now let's jump into this and I want to show you all the pieces in, involved in when you use Facebook ads to build your email list, the landing pages, the offers, everything. We're going to look at everything now here's the campaign that's running so email list campaign and as you can see right here so it lasts like almost a month we got 54 emails and we're paying five dollars and 81 cents per email now is that good or bad well it depends if your business can make more money than that number then it's a good campaign then that's a good number but sometimes we generate emails for clients for less than a dollar or less than a 50 cents but they can't even make that money back so in those cases that's not a good campaign, right? So your cost per lead comes from what's the value of lead for your business? What's the lifetime value of a customer for your business? Because you can take those and work your way backwards and then identify what's a good cost per email or cost per lead for your business. And by the way, it is different for every single business. All right, now, so that's why when some people tell you another point I wanna uh, clarify, if someone says, hey, I can generate leads for a dollar a day or a uh, dollar per email or 50 cents per email, that doesn't really tell me anything. What I want to know is the business, right? So if we generate emails for a dollar, how much more can we make? You know, sometimes in some industries like uh, legal or insurance, people generate leads for like $50, $100. But the lifetime value of customer for those businesses is huge, right? So do you ever think that, you know, when we go sign up for a new uh, account with a, a mobile device, uh, carrier like Verizon or Sprint, we get a free phone. Why? Because they're losing money up front because the lifetime value of a client or a customer for them is more than the value of the phone. So that's why. So that's why, you know, this number really doesn't really tell you much. You have to really know the business. Um, for us, it's very profitable. That's why we continue running this campaign. All right. Now let's jump into this. So. When you want to do lead gen, the first thing you need is an offer. So what's the offer that you are going to use to capture emails? So for example, for this business or this client, here's what we have. So we are giving away an ebook. So it's the ultimate profit productivity and peace of mind tool. When people click, they have to put their name and their email and get instant access and boom, they get the uh, the ebook and we get their email, email, right? So the first thing you have to figure out is what's the offer. And what I would say to that is make sure your offer is super relevant to your audience. Um, you don't want to give away iPhones to for every single one of your campaigns because everyone wants iPhones and those may not be the right type of leads for your business. So you have to think about, for example, for this business, we want people who are interested in making profits and productivity. That's why we're giving away this ebook. You get that, right? All right, so that's the first thing. The second thing is, the second thing that you need is after the offer is the landing page. So let me write that down here. And you actually saw that right here. This is the landing page. Here's the URL of the landing page. And it's very simple. We keep it, you know, what's the, again, the front and center. What's the offer? What do people get when they give you the email? You have to make this super clear for people. And then also, how do they get it? It's super simple. You know, you click here and you put the email, uh, name and email and get the instant access, right? So make it very simple. So keep your, to, on the landing pages, I would say, keep them simple. Make sure the value that people get um, by giving you the email is very clear and obvious, right? The second is the thank you page, right? And the reason, you know, I'll kind of put, write that down here is. So when you design your landing page and thank you page, you want to install Facebook pixel on those. Why? Because when, when you have Facebook pixel installed, and by the way, if you want to learn more about Facebook pixel installation and how to use it to create different types of audiences, let me know in the comments below and I can create a separate full tutorial on just Facebook pixels. But here's the deal. So for example, on this page right here, so 
if you look at here right here so there is a facebook pixel install because we are tracking people or we're sending people to this page and also some t cases we can retarget if you have a facebook pixel installed you can retarget people who go to the landing page and they didn't get the offer that's very 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 powerful right so here's the landing page for this offer and here's the thank you page thank you page is very simple the url is different from the landing page obviously but you know when people land here we tell them congratulations and um we ask them to like our facebook or uh, twitter and then here's the download the ebook right so first they go to this page, the landing page, they, and then they click here. We get the name and email, and then they land on this page. And now, as you can see, we do have Facebook Pixel installed on this page as well. All right, so now what's the next step? The next step is step number five is the Facebook ad, right? That's, you know, after, so this is kind of like all um, getting ready to run your Facebook ad, right? And then this is your actual ad. Now, Let's go through the actual ad that's running and I'll show you every single thing behind the scenes and uh, walk you through this. So first of all, let's look at this campaign. It, it is a conversion campaign, which means we are, let's go back, to, I'm gonna hit edit and I'm gonna show you how. So look at the objective of this campaign. It's a conversion campaign, why? because we're telling Facebook to optimize, hey, we, we need more conversions, meaning more people who go here, click this box and then give us convert to become our email lead. So that's why it's set up as the objective of this campaign is conversion campaign. Now, let's look at the ad set. So let's see who we are targeting. And another thing here is, so now I'm gonna take you through the whole, uh, step by step so we saw in the, inside the campaign it's a conversion campaign that's how we set it up number two we're going through the ad set now so first of all conversions what type of conversion we want so we created a custom conversion and we want to get conversions of people who land on this thank you page and basically it's a custom conversion and again if you want to learn more about the custom conversion the facebook pixel let me know in the comments below and i can create a separate tutorial but basically what we're telling people is we want more people who land on this thank you page because when people land on a thank you page that's a conversion for us for this business that's when we know they give us the email and they get the book right so we're telling inside our facebook ad setup we're telling facebook hey we want more conversions like that or optimize it for conversion right so let's scroll down our daily budget is ten dollars per day and obviously what I tell people when it comes to the budget, in the beginning for maybe for a few days or a few weeks, start with a low budget and then test everything. And once everything is making sense and the cost per lead is below to, uh, is reasonable for you or it makes sense for your business. Cause like I said, for some businesses, $50 per conversion per email lead is good for insurance and legal and uh, law businesses. But for some other businesses, even a dollar per lead is not a good, it's, it's too too much. So it just depends on every single, for every single business, it's different. All right, let's scroll down and see. So we're targeting people who are in the United States. Uh, I think I missed the... Oh, actually, let me go back here. I'm in the wrong ad set. This is the ad set that's active. So again, the same thing, we have the... Um, a custom conversion to the thank you page ten dollars per day so here's the who are we targeting so we're using custom audiences so we're targeting people who go to the website edrush.com we, and there are two different websites we're targeting both of those people who go to those two websites and also recently we had some zoom calls we're retargeting people who go to those attended those uh zoom calls and basically we're targeting people who are familiar with the brand but here you go. If you look at the excluding or exclusion, so we are not targeting our existing email address, right? Right? Because we already have them on the email. And also we're not retargeting people who are, who land on that thank you page, right? Because we don't want that. But, so here's the uh, five different types of uh, people we're targeting. One, we're targeting people who go to our website, both of our websites. We're targeting people who attended our 
Zoom calls recently. And then we're also targeting people who are engaged audiences on our Facebook page and also on Instagram page, right? So these are the people, if you step back and think, these are the people who are not on our email list, but they are familiar with our brand because they've been to our Facebook page and have engaged with us in the last 30 days, or they've been to our uh, websites, right? One of our websites. So that's why we, I called it hot and warm audience. It's not a cold audience, right? Now let's scroll down. So they all live in the United States. Optimization is for conversions. Now let's go to, so that was our, we looked at our campaign setup, it's set up for conversions. We looked at our ad set, uh, setup and the key takeaway there is uh, we are targeting people who were using Facebook Pixel. That's where the Facebook Pixel is super, super, super powerful uh, when it comes to using Facebook ads. We're retargeting people who've been to our website. Now the third step is we're gonna look at the actual ad and that's the easy part. Um, so we are inside the third phase of the Facebook ad, the third step, which is the actual ad. Uh, and then we have both Facebook page selected and uh, it's also running on Instagram. Now let's look at the actual ad. And you, as you can see, here's the people are going to the call to actually download and here's the, the URL, which is that landing page, right? Now, let me show you the actual ad that's running. So I'm gonna click here and then open the Facebook post with comments. Because the actual ad is very simple, but the magic happens in, in this process. You see, a lot of time people skip all of this and they just jump into creating the ad, but make sure you do your setup right. Make sure you follow the process. Make sure you set up for success before you launch your Facebook ad campaign. And you know, when I say all of that, that means all these four things. Make sure your offer is good, your landing page is simple and good, uh, is well designed. You have a thank you page and you have Facebook pixel installed, right? That all comes under the strategy. So before you actually do the execution of creating the ad, make sure you create the right strategy. All right, now let's look at the ad and it's very simple. We're just a uh, free ebook and here's the landing page and we're using a, um, a testimonial or a review of the book and get the instant access, very simple. And you see how we have a lot of engagement on this ad campaign, right? Very, very simple. So the creation of the actual ad is very simple. It's doing the research and homework before you create the ad is what determines if you're gonna be successful or not with your campaign. The other thing I will mention is, so we are right now targeting, you saw in the ad set, hot and warm audience, which means people who are familiar with our, our brand, but they are not on our email list, right? After that, I call this, that's the phase, phase one. In phase two, what you can do is, you can target cold audiences too. But what, what we do is, one of the strategies that works really well for us is, we'll take the email list and we'll build the lookalike of that email list and then tar uh, target those people. And again, that's why the Facebook pixel is very, powerful because you want to detect or people who are going to the landing page, people who are landing on the thank you page and build like custom audiences uh, based on, on those and do a lot of like cool stuff. So here, this is everything that we're doing right now. And I think you saw all the data right now. We are generating leads. Well, here's one other thing I want to mention. So here is, so right now this is the active ad set and it's bringing us leads at $5.54, but we tested that the other two ad sets are off right now, but before we were generating leads at $6.34. Uh, uh, so we kind of tested that and stopped it. Then we were, we came down to $5.69 and now we're down to like $5.44 at 45 cents. So we're planning on doing more tests and we're gonna, we wanna bring it down even more and more and more. So the reason I wanted to show you this is the value of testing. So I always tell people the Facebook ads, hashtag ABT, always be testing. So test your offers, test your landing pages, test your audiences, which we were doing in this case, uh, to really like improve your results and your cost per lead and cost per click. Testing is the key. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Hopefully this was super, super helpful for you. And here, again, here is the whole system to generate email leads from Facebook ads or using Facebook ads, you need five things. You have 
have a relevant offer to your audience, create a landing page, which is simple, create a thank you page. And then number four is install Facebook pixel on both and then go into the Facebook ads manager and create an ad campaign. And also think about, you know, who um, your cold audience is and warm audiences and which one you want to attract or target first in your phase one. And then you can expand it to the cold audience or the other audiences later on. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions, leave those questions below in the comments. Before you go, you know what to do. Subscribe, hit the bell icon, and also like this video. And I'm going to see you in the next one. Bye for now.